Okay, so this is my standing activation. Uh, I use this before every run and especially before race day. Um, and basically it gets the muscles ready to go, ready to fire. So the first one you're gonna do is the hamstring standing activation. It's very simple. Just stand on one leg, lift the other, and just kind of contract that hamstring about 80%. Hold it for about six seconds. And then the other leg, again, just contract, it's not hard. You're not trying to, you know, really work it too much, just about, again, 75 to 80%. And just do that six times. Each leg, just back and forth is all you need to do. Very simple, very easy, but it definitely gets the uh, hamstrings working. It gets them ready to fire for, uh, for the bike and for the run. So then the next one, same, similar concept, but this time you're going to uh, contract your quadricep. So again, one leg, just kind of out, and you're looking to really kind of um, focus right here and contract that. Again, 75, 80% is enough. And you want to hold it for at least six seconds, preferably six to eight. And again, six times each leg, and you just kind of go back and forth. Very simple, very easy, doesn't take very much time at all. So it's something you should be able to squeeze in before a run. And then finally, the last one is, is for your glute. I'll do this one from the side here. Again, one foot, you lean forward a bit. And the key to here is you gotta contract right here, right up in your glute, and just let it, let it hold and let it fire. Six seconds. The other leg, you want the leg to come out kind of at about a 45 degree angle. Relax your ankle, and just squeeze that glute. And that's all you need to do. It should take you about three to five minutes. Something you can sneak in before a run. Like I said, also uh, race day. Now we're gonna go through the progression of uh, drills. These, again, used for warm-ups. So the first ones you're gonna wanna do are arm swings, double arm, overhead swings, very simple. Just over your head. You wanna uh, really relax your neck. A lot of people um, you know, really get tight up in here. Leave it loose. Bring your arms as far back as possible and just let them come up and over. It's really easy. Second one is same thing, just the other way. So backwards. Again, keep that neck nice and loose. Don't tighten up. And then the last one, and this is probably the hardest one. You might uh, you might need a little help with this one, but it takes some time to get. But this is the alternate arm swing. The way I like to do this is start right here and just let your hands drop and come over the top. See the way I learned it, and it seems to work really well. Then you pause and let them drop again. Go the other way. You want to do each drill. Uh, do the arm swings probably about uh, 10 to 15 of them, depending on how much you need to loosen up from from the day before.